Hello, my name is Simone Bonavia. I am a PhD candidate at the Bartlett UCL and a lighting designer at Steens and Varming. The focus of my research work is the role of spatial distribution of light on biological effects that are relevant for human health. I am applying for the Gene Heap Research Bursary to support a specific pilot study in this research area. Research over the last 20 years has confirmed that light entering the eyes affects aspects of the human physiology and behavior beyond vision. Light exposure has biological rhythm effects such as circadian entrainment and more immediate effects such as melatonin suppression at night and pupil constriction. To predict the magnitude of evoked responses, an understanding of how our biological system responds to light is required. There is now a good level of agreement on the spectral weighting used to evaluate light which triggers the non-visual response. Intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells, the photoreceptors that play an important role in non-visual effects of light, are more sensitive to blue-rich light. It is also understood that non-image forming effects depend on a combined response from all the photoreceptors in the retina. However, even if light from the field of view is spectrally weighted for the non-visual system, a typical single measurement near the eye ignores detail on how light is distributed spatially. The environments we experience vary in light distribution, and a similar measurement of light exposure at the plane of the cornea can arise from a range of spatial distributions, uh, depending on the field of view. It is unknown whether this leads to the same response or not. If the direction of light does have a bearing on the sensitivity of the non-visual system to light, the arrangement of windows or luminaires and surface finishes will be a factor in determining the biological effectiveness of light in space. Phototransduction occurs at the retina. Therefore, an appraisal of how the retina responds to the light stimulus across the field of view may be a better way to characterize light exposure. A previously published theoretical function for retinal response may be a good starting point for research into this area. This mathematical formula hypothesizes that the response of the retina to light is proportional to the logarithm of luminance patches in the field of view, summed across the retina. A pilot study is proposed to explore whether the non-image forming system is sensitive to spatial distribution of light. Of the various non-image forming responses that could be considered as the outcome measure for the study, pupil constriction is deemed particularly appropriate. Pupillary response is objective, it's relatively easy to measure and an established method in various research fields. The aim of this study is to understand whether light exposure, measured at the corneal plane of the eye, predicts pupillary response for non-uniform scenes. Specific objectives are to determine the impact of varying luminance scenes on pupil response, to assess the relationship between pupillary response and corneal exposure, as well as that between pupillary response and retinal response, and to assess the use of pupillary response to evaluate the impact of lighting on non-image forming responses. In a bespoke laboratory experiment, participants will be exposed to successive luminous scenes of varying distributions on a backlit translucent screen with a simple task to focus gaze and attention. Each scene will be designed to raise the same illuminance at the eye. The study variables will include the light stimulus, represented by either corneal illuminance or retinal response, and the pupil size over time. The scenes will be characterized using high dynamic range luminance images, from which retinal response will be evaluated. An eye tracker will be used to record changes in pupil size. Analysis will include the comparison of the correlation between pupil response to corneal illuminance and the correlation between pupil response to retinal response. This will answer an important question on the relevance of light distribution on the non-visual system. 
It will also raise awareness of the potential of light to affect well-being, which is not yet a lighting design priority. This study is anticipated to validate an objective and feasible method to assess the impact of light on the non-visual system. The results of this pilot study and follow-up studies using this methodology and equipment will be made available to SLL members and disseminated to the scientific community through academic journal papers. Thank you and I hope that you found the proposal interesting.